Hi everyone, it's Tracy from WeCraft at Home. I've had a couple of requests to go into more detail about doing text on Canvas. So I don't know if you're aware, but this is the desktop version because you can get a lot more fonts. You can get all the fonts on your computer on here, whereas on the online one, you can only use the fonts that they have available. So, click text. Let's just go with the basic. Happy birthday. The only thing I'll say is you can't do enter and another line. It doesn't allow you to do that. So when you click off, everything comes up to change it. So as you can see, if you go on the fonts, The first ones are the ones that are in Canvas, and then after that, you get all fonts, so the ones that are on your PC. I love using different fonts, um, even on the same, so different font to happy than birthday. I just like playing around with stuff like that, so for me, it's important to have the desktop. Let's find one that's not too... There, I love this one. There we go. Now, after that, you can separate. So, what it is, is divide. If you divide, this will divide every letter because it's not joined up. So then all you do is group each word together. You can join it up. If I just show you this, actually it might work better on this. That's already grouped. Yeah. So you can thicken the line. Or if I undo, if you want to join the writing up, let's get back to the fonts. Um, this is the one, character spacing. So if you go down so that there's less space, you'll see it coming closer together until it actually joins together. Now some will join sooner than others. As you can see, the T and H have already joined, the D and the H, but the A is left on its own. Let's see what happens with that. We'll weld, and then we'll be able to see the separate letters. Mm -hmm. So separate. There we can see there's some separate letters and all you do is go on the separate letters and if you use your arrows on your keyboard and just move slightly over, I'm going to zoom in a bit, I've used the magnifying glass and just there, we, we just want a slight line over. Remember to click the arrow again if you've used that. Okay, so now if we quickly pick them both, then we can weld them. There we go. Now, was there any... It's the A again. So we move it over until it touches and then the Y. We only need to touch that on the bottom, look. That would be perfect. And weld. To zoom out, you display. I always zoom to mat size. I like seeing the format on the screen. 
So after you've done that, you can offset so that you've got something going round it. Now, I don't like a thick offset, so I always go for 0 0.04. It's a very narrow line around, but I do like it. It's an outward line. We need it round. We want to leave what's already there and only around the outer edge. So we do that and it's there. And all we have to do is pull it out. I will do it for happy. It's already set up there, so there we go. Now you can, let's do it again and I'll show you. You can do it so that you get the insides as well. So let's do that. I'm not sure if it will come out together. Yeah, it will. Yeah, I think I prefer that. So we'll get rid of these. There we go. I've just deleted them. And then what we can do, you can offset then as many times as you like and have as many layers as you want. There you go, there's another layer. We'll pull that one out. Now that really has. I think maybe just for the first layer I'd leave. Let's go. Yeah, I think what I'd do after the first layer is just have the outside line because you don't want to make it too complicated. There we go. These bits you don't need, so you just... because they're bigger. They go around... They're not doing the inside, so they're pretty pointless. So if we grab all three of the birthdays and we just do center and center, then you've got Get in close so you can see it a bit better. You've got quite a few layers there. And you can add as many layers as you like then. Display zoom to mat size. So when it's joined up right in like I was showing the other day, I will just show you that quickly. So more text. We'll do happy birthday again. As soon as you click off, that comes up. I think it was Amanda I used before, so let's try and see if we can find that. Oh, this one's quite nice. Let's try this. Okay. Again, I'll get me little glass through because I just want to show you. You can see the lines there are not joined together. Right, while we're close and it's still highlighted, I'll show you. This is where you need to do world and you'll see they'll all join together which is obviously what you need so I'll zoom out and then offset let's 
Let's do a fine line again. Okay. So, there we go. And then again, you can just do as many as you like. Do another one the same. Just remember to click that. You don't want the inner line again. There we go. I can't do it with this one because they've gone separate. So them two I will put together. And then that one should be okay. I've got a feeling I might have to weld the H to the rest of the word. We'll go in a bit closer. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. So, looks like it needs to go that way a little bit. And that one needs to go that way a little bit. Right, so if one's selected, you hold down your shift key and select the other one. Because they're the only two you want. You don't want all of them. And you weld. Now let's see. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. And that is how you do it. I hope this has been helpful. You know, um, you can ask me any questions or suggestions or anything in the comments below. And as usual, any links to my website and Facebook are in the description below. Thanks for listening. See you soon. Happy crafting.